so my friend i am again back with a new video on flutter development course in the previous video we did created this complete page and profile page and we did almost completed authentication system and today we are going to complete authentication system completely so for that i did created a function here yeah, this is this is the function from here we will select the image so in the select image function we did created the instance of storage and created on variable named url so we did return that url here at the end of this function so after that i did created the instance of image picker in order to use this image picker you need to add this dependency into our pubspec.yaml here I did already added this image picker and if you didn't added this image picker plugin you can add it and get the version from our pubspec that mean pub.dev I did already told about it in my previous videos so in the authentication page here in select image function you just need to pass this constant that mean context and this will be a future so that right here future so you need to just copy all the codes and i am trying to make you understood everything here i did created a image that instance of this image named image for selecting the image by calling this image we can select the image from our device and i did added the source to camera because this is our virtual device and there is no image saved in the storage so that i did added here camera you can also here call the gallery so that you will be able to select image from gallery and here this show dialog method will start to show the dialog box where which will contain the text file uploading and and this try and catch blocks will start to upload that that the image which we will get from this image picker and then while uploading this image the user will see this dialog so where user can see that the file is uploading and after upload uh, up, after uploading that image uh, the response from server will be stored in this uploaded variable and by the help of this uploaded variable we are going to get the download url from the server and store it into this u and again we will uh, store that download URL into this URL variable so after completing this function it will return you a uh, URL which will contain the URL of that image which you will select and now our complete that function is co almost completed and now we are going to call this function from our complete page so let's move to the complete page here you can see here this is the text field and you, you need to go to inside this text field and create one that mean parameter named on tap and you need to make it as optional parameter so don't put here required and in this text field this, that means this is the text field here is one parameter named on tap and just pass that on tap into here and again move to this complete page and now let's use that parameter here so in on tap function we will we will create this function as asynchronous and store and we will call that select image function and here you can see image equals to auth dot select image and we did pass the context that mean when this function will be completed this will return a download url and we are going to store that download url into this image that we did created previously now we did store that image here successfully and inside this here you can see we did already created that function for complete so here in the user and we did pass that user and name and number and image even also so previously we did all only pass that image as blank now but now it will we are going to pass that image url so now everything is fine now let's check out go to your sign up page like like this way and here enter a demo email just like ggg g, g. 
and the password is going to be one two three four five six I'm sorry and press this sign up button everything is fine here this is our complete page enter the name just like code dictionary previously I told you to solve this problem so I didn't solve it this is challenge for you you can solve it easily I think so I did already told you that how to solve this so try to solve it now just put a number anything and now select image you can see here it is asking for permission so just click on this while using the app or whatever you need now it this this is our emulator so that this is showing the virtual environment so just click on this click button and now okay everything is fine you can see here the file is uploading and at the center there is a circular progress indicator now the file is successfully uploaded and now just click on this complete you can see the file profile is successfully completed now let's move to our console now inside this user here you can see the gg at gmail.com here the image URL and the name and number so let's try to copy this URL and let's see what happens just copy it and try to launch it into another web like this way you can see the image is successfully loaded now we need to that we need to show that image into here and here even also so let's move to our profile page copy this data and name and go to upper side inside this circular circle avatar just press here background image and here network image and inside it paste it remove this constant from here now try to save it inside it just right here image again save it go to back page and again go to that page now you can see the image is successfully loaded and again we need to show that image here so again go to your landing page that means dashboard inside it this abba there is a circle avatar so inside it just write what background image like this way but we do not have that image here that means that data variable here so again go to your profile page and copy this in it state from this uh, make sure to copy that data even also so again command C if you are in window then control C and make sure to convert this into a stateful widget so that we will be able to call that init state and set state method and make sure to import it like this way and again copy this and go to dashboard network image and paste it again remove this const widget no, that is not the const widget only const now save it now everything is fine you can see here the image is successfully loaded but at the beginning of this page we can may get error that that is null error that means at the starting of this app when the data is going to be loaded at that time the that means the program will start to build the widget so while building that widget it will it will look on this data that means if the data is containing that image then this will perform the task easily but at the beginning of 
the this widget tree the data will be empty so that it will it can show you the error so in order to solve that error just here that means data press not equals to null so that it will show you that scaffold no 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 not a scaffold here inside it this circular progress indicator only that means circle avatar only let's create it double equals to and here inside it only container everything is fine now here what happens it will check the data if the data is equals to null that means data is empty then this will show you the container otherwise it will show you this circle avatar so just save it now everything is fine here you can see the data and everything is working properly so we did successfully completed all the authentication system here now in the next video we are going to complete this chat app that means we will complete everything in the next video so that stay tuned for next video and if you didn't subscribe my channel till now please subscribe it and press that bell icon and if you like this tutorial please like the video so for for now thank you